right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green, GrimGreen.com, back here today. Today is Thursday, which means that it is vlog day. Today is actually Thanksgiving day. Well, not today, today. This is pre-recorded, kind of like, uh, you know, like the parade floats at Disneyland, how they do their Christmas one, like in July. It's not that far back, but it's a little far back. But today, for all intents and purposes, the day that you are hopefully viewing this blog is Thursday or vlog. What did I say? Blog? Anyway, the day that you are viewing this vlog is Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. Uh, happy holidays to you. I hope you're having a great, uh, a great Thanksgiving. I can only assume that I am as well. But regardless, we do have some stuff to talk about tonight, including more towards the end of the video, we're going to get into the contest. Now, let me tell you guys that this contest really kind of took its toll on me. I wasn't prepared... Um, for that sort of level of, uh, of 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 sharing and just uh, the, at the tugging of heartstrings, I mean, it, there was there was a lot. I'm sorry, my chair is in ruts. There was a lot of uh, a lot of sharing going on, a lot of very hard stories, and my only regret is that I can't send everybody vape gear. Uh, there was well over 800 entries, which is crazy that I read all these emails and I was kind of as they were coming in um, flagging them to, to read later and then it, it was a process and we're going to go through all of that we're going to go through all the winners um, later on the first thing I want to talk to you about uh, is beer of course of course it's beer why would it not be beer do you see the name of this beer this beer is called Zombie Dust, okay, and that's probably all nice and shaken up now. But this beer came to me via my, one of my uh, very, very, very cool subscribers, Shane. I'm not going to throw his last name out there. His name is Shane. This comes from Three Floyds Brewing Company. Um, this is an American Pale Ale, and it is a uh, highly, highly rated on Beer Advocate. 100% world class beer. Um, what does the description say? Medium bodied single hop beer uh, showcasing citra hops from the Yakima Valley, USA. Intensely hopped and gushing undead pale ale uh, will be one's only respite after the zombie apocalypse. Created with our marvelous friends in the comic industry. Um, the, the bottle alone looks really freaking cool it's got this sweet like king zombie and he's got like this sh chest thing going on uh called zombie dust and once again pour it right over my uh pour it right over my uh keyboard this is a beer on the lighter spectrum but it's a beer that i've been dying i mean dying to try uh since i read about it on beer advocate so thank you shane for sending this my way ruby Ruby, head, is that okay? I mean, is that a good one? I feel like that's a little weak. Regardless, I am gonna drink through it like a man. Shane, here's to you, here's some zombie dust. Holy God in heaven, that tastes like, uh, oh my gosh. You can, you can smell, I don't know why, this tastes like an IPA to me. It's like an IPA, but not, it doesn't have that bitter note at the end that some IPAs have. There's a lot of really good IPAs. The Founders Centennial IPA is my favorite. I love Hetty Topper and I love uh, Pliny the Elder. This is like the best aspects of those beers, but without that sort of slight bitter note that you get from some IPAs. You can smell the citrus and the hops before it even touches your lips. It's so pungent. That's unbelievable. I can see why this beer is so highly rated. Oh my gosh. That. What could I possibly pair that with? What? Do I go top secret juice or do I go top top secret juice? How about just top secret juice? <laughs> Man, that is, uh, that's amazing. Pairs well with this juice. This juice actually isn't top secret. This juice is uh, this juice is RYM. It's no secret. 
uh, RYM from RJ Vapes is, uh, I, I love this. That's how much I vaped. Uh, they hooked it up and sent me this fat bottle of it. Um, I've always had a good relationship with the guys at RJ Vapes. They carry Namber Juice in their stores, and I kind of like that they like Namber Juice, um, and I like their juice. It's kind of like that, that, that human connection, you know, that thing that we have in common. You know what I mean? For all intents and purposes, it's like, oh, I shouldn't really be vaping your juice. But they, they enjoy Namber Juice, and I enjoy, and I enjoy this juice. They like mine. I like theirs. This is RYM it's uh it's a very non-assuming juice it's not really here nor there and that's what i actually really like about it is it pairs well with a lot of things it's kind of become other than the vigilante skull and crossbones it's kind of become my drinking juice like i like it when i'm drinking beer or drinking cocktails because it's nice it's i get a nice little throat hit from it um it's kind of tobacco-y and a little bit minty uh it's it's just really good and it's pairing very well with this beer if I didn't have that, I would probably pair this with something lighter. Something like... Uh, donut Pounder is a little too heavy for this type of drink. Maybe something like Moots Juice. Something bright and citrusy like Moots Juice Ooh, would pair really well with this. Mm. Wow, that's good. Wow, that is good. Shane, Shane, thank you so much for this beer. Mm. Well, I'm going to continue to consume that, and I must warn you that before I started shooting video, I did have a pre-game, a pre-vlog beer, so things might get a little silly and emotional at the end there. So what have I been vaping lately? Um, it's been the Segeli 100 watt, which surprised me too, because I did the video for this, and other products came in, and I kind of put this on the shelf, and I went, no. I don't want that to sit on the shelf. I want to take that. I want to use it. And so far, it's been fantastic. I did have to take that Plumes of Hazard sticker off of there. Um, soaked this back plate in uh, in uh, Goo Gone to get rid of that sticker. But uh, I'm sorry. It was a paper sticker. Um, if you guys ever do vinyl stickers, I will love you forever. And I will put them on everything. Still rocking the Grim Army on there. Um, been really enjoying the Segeli 100 watt. Been really enjoying it a lot. It's kind of, like I said, it's kind of been my go-to. I can see the volts, the watts, and the ohms, and the battery all right there, and it can rock down to like a 0.2. This is 0.5 on here, which you can't see, but uh, we'll be talking about this atomizer a little bit later, but uh, other than that, I have also been continuously rocking, that's right, the Aspire, uh, uh, sub ohm battery and the Aspire Atlantis tank has been fantastic. It's just been really great. In fact, that Strawberry Circus actually actually pairs pretty well with this with this beer. Unbelievable! That beer is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm so glad I got to try it, but we're going to do some shout outs right now. The first shout out that I have is to a fella named Dana. Uh, he and apparently someone else, uh, maybe other people, are organizing an international vape meet. Um, this vape meet is going to take place in Jamaica. <laughs> what? For my birthday. So. Next year is already filling up with vape meets. Um, I still will be doing VaporCon West in Reno, Nevada in July. I'm going to be going up to Oregon to a two-day vape meet there in January. In March, I'm going to Winston-Salem, North Carolina to attend Vape Slam. This could be an option depending on how rich or poor I am at that particular time. Yes, vapecation. Very, very cool. Um, I'm going to make a note here. I uh, also want to give a shout out to uh, to my girl Brittany, to Cheeksy Vapes. Um, she sent me this t-shirt, and it's fantastic. It's a great t-shirt, and I am proud to wear it. She's kind of been in and around the community for quite a while. She has quite a following on Instagram. Um, she's just adorable and posts pictures and videos of herself vaping she does do some youtube videos and she got some shirts made up and she made a special one the normal ones are pink or like a purpley color 
and it says Cheeksy Vapes, and then uh, and then this one's green, and so she made it specially for me, at Cheeksy Vapes, uh, with the little ohm symbol, which I think is cool, and ever since I put on this shirt, I've been singing your damn theme music to your YouTube videos that's like, I don't know what that's from. As soon as I see this logo, that song goes into my head. And I uh, I just can't help it. So Cheeksy, yes, shout out to you, uh, Miss Brittany. Um, I'll post a link to her Instagram and, and uh, YouTube in the, in the description to this video. But I think that's very, very cool. Now, we have some more important shout outs to get to here. Um... Shout outs, shout outs, where are you? My shout outs, I have a shout outs folder on here. Um, there was one guy who I really wanted to get to a shout out. Uh, his name is Kynan. Uh, Kynan? Kynan. Maybe that's his last name. Well, I'm calling you Kynan. Doesn't really matter. He writes me and says, hey Nick, it's been a while and something huge came up in my life. My grandfather has a horrible form of cancer. And I realize that you've already shouted me out before, but I was wondering if you could do one for my grandfather, Rod. He's been having a major surgery to remove most of his urinary system, and this is happening the 19th of this month. Uh, he is a strong man. It's extremely upsetting to see a person who's uh, been basically my father going through all this. He's been going through chemotherapy, and nothing has helped so far. Uh, so they have to remove... Oh, my gosh. I was hoping to get a shout-out before then. Um... This won't, this won't happen before then, but I really, really hope that everything went okay there with your grandfather, Rod. Shout-outs to him. Shout-outs to you. Um, horrible. Uh, gosh, that is... I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine what that's like to go through something like that. That's that's really... Uh, that's truly heartbreaking, but uh, consider yourself shouted out. and Best of luck. Uh, best of luck to both of you. Um, so there was another one. Uh, my name is Mike, and I was wondering if you could give me a shout-out or plug to a new vape shop here in Fernley, Nevada. That's right, my home state, Fernley, Nevada. Uh, the name of the store is Forbidden Vapors. Uh, we are located at 45 West Cedar Street, Suite 120. The owner's name is Rob, who is a great guy and help anyone who needs it. They hand make their own juice here called the Forbidden Flavor. Maybe they should carry Namber juice. <laughs> Ah, well, I'm not going to force anybody to carry Namber Juice. Um, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Thanks for you do for the community. Mike, absolutely. Uh, Nevada is sparse with vape shops. We have exactly one here in uh, in my home in my hometown, uh, and I, I love it. It's a great shop. And now there is one in Fernley. Fernley, Nevada. If there's any vapors in Fernley, Nevada, 45 West Cedar Street, Suite 120, check it out check out forbidden vapors absolutely that's that's very very cool i had one more earmarked that i wanted to do joe 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 maybe it was joe was it joe my name is joe and i live in michigan i've been vaping for about a year now and i try my best to spread vaping to the people in my area so far i've been very successful in helping switch people switch over i recently just helped a close friend uh, start vaping. He smoked a pack a day and he hasn't had a cigarette in over a month. Um, I was hoping you could give him a shout out to keep him motivated to stick with it. He is also an up and coming DJ and is honestly very talented and has been getting better and better since he started. Uh, it is actually, he actually has a show coming up at the Ritz on October 23rd. As you can see, this is an older shout out. His DJ name is Dance Myth. That's kind of fucking cool. Right now, as we speak, I'm chilling with him, watching him make a trap and vape track and vape away, not paying attention uh, to what I'm doing. Could you share the link for his SoundCloud and everyone kind of expand his fan base? If you are into, let's check it out. Let's check it out, Mr. Dance Myth. And it's Dance Myth, not Dance Smith. Dance Myth. Let's see what you got for me. Uh, Bloom. Should we check out Bloom? If there's the sound of Transformers having sex in here, I'm going to turn it off. So far, it's uh, like tubular bells kind of thing. Let's get to an exciting part. Just. Yeah, uh, there you go. Dance Smith. 
uh, um, I will post the link in the description to your SoundCloud. Consider yourself shouted out, Mr. Dance Smith. And yes, absolutely. Listen to your friend Joe. Keep up the vaping. Just keep it up. It couldn't be a better time right now to be a vapor. And I know that uh, I know that you can be successful at it. So yes, listen to Joe. Keep vaping. And uh, I'll put a link in the description if you're into this kind of uh, dancey. Oh. oh, I thought that was going to be the drop. He tricked me. He tricked me. I really thought that was going to be the drop. I believe that's all I have for shout outs. Did I have any other shout outs that I needed to do or wanted to do? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so this isn't a shout out. So we're going to move forward just a little bit, not quite into first impressions, but what we're going to do is shoot. Oh, no, that's not the right one. That's not the right one. Oh, man. Oh, let's see. Oh, okay. So this is a message that I got from someone. And I can't say the name, but I trust this person implicitly. Um, they sent me a message. Uh, regarding the new IPv version 3s. And I know that uh, Liberty Flights just did a recall for their IPv version 3s. And uh, this person writes to me and says, pioneer for you is withholding a very dangerous concern with their IPv to the public. This is serious time. Let's have some beer first. Serious mean beer means serious. They admitted to me in private that if you use the 9 volt charger on it, the batteries must be a Sony battery and the battery levels must be between the same voltage when you use that charger. They warned me that the mod can blow up. I kid you not, that's exactly what they said. If the batteries are not at the same level and or the same brand when you use the 9 volt charger. It is safer in the IPv version 3 to charge the batteries outside of the device and then put it in the box, which can be a pain to use a screwdriver. They should have just gone with a magnetic door. Uh, if you have the IPv version 3, take your batteries out, charge them, put them back in. Um, don't charge it using the 9 volt charger mostly because I have a feeling there's a lot of people that aren't going to be using Sony batteries and I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of people that aren't um, making sure their batteries are at the exact same level when they charged and saying something like the mod can blow up is not uh, not a good thing um, as I said I trust the source of this email I mean no questions asked. I trust the source of this email. And you should too. <laughs> and I don't mean to be pointy like this. But don't uh, don't use that 9-volt charger. Take your batteries out to charge your IPv version 3. So now that that's out of the way, now that we've done shout-outs, Cheeksy Vapes, and now that we've done... Sorry, Sheik. I had, a, I had like a half burp there. Now that we've done beer, now that we've done shout outs, now that we've uh, talked about the IPv version 3 safety issue, it is now time to do some first impressions. Holy crap, I can't get over how good that zombie dust is. And I kind of want to save this label because it's so boss. Look at that guy. Look at that zombie. It says zombie dust. That's cool as hell. So the first thing I want to talk about, this came to me via VaporDNA.com. And uh, right here, this is the Mutation X version 2. And I apologize, I'm going to have to adjust my camera because I'm going to hold this up to the camera. So I'm going to put it about right there. And I'm going to show you big, lots of airflow holes. Kind of looks like the Mutation X version 1. The deck is the same, the airflow is the same. The big difference is this drip tip. It comes with a proprietary drip tip. It's a huge, big hole, huge, big drip tip, super easy for dripping. So 
You can just drip in there, no worries, no harm, no foul. One of the big changes is the airflow. So if you take this off, do you see this crazy airflow cap? It looks like a screw. Let you do single and dual coil airflow. And so when you snap this in, if the light will catch it right, it will not. That's all the way open, that's all the way closed. I've been leaving it kind of, uh, you see those six, those three sets of holes there? I've been leaving three of those holes open because otherwise, let's just leave them all open right now just, just for the sake of, of argument. Let's just leave them all open. It's so airy that I can barely even stand to vape it. It's so airy. Produces uh, produces nice clouds, but it is so airy, I hate it. I hate how airy it is with all open. So what I like to do is I close off two of those sets of holes, and I leave three, three holes open on each side. And even with just three holes open on each side, it is still, it is still swooshy you get a huge airflow for my personal preferences if I could close off just one more hole and leave two open I might even like that better so much better the flavors better the draw is better the swooshy airflow so much better so 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 much better clouds bro clouds for days and the deck on here is great it's a nice nice uh design they went from like the three post design to more like a helios um you're not gonna be able to see it but if i hold it up like this you can kind of see maybe a little it's a four it's a four hole design so i posted a picture on instagram a while ago about uh about this cre about this coil that I built on there. I was like, oh, I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. And it was a big, long coil. I used 26-gauge canthal and did 17 wraps all in a row. And it was like this long. It was retarded. It was so long. It was silly long. And I ran into the same problem that a lot of people run into. It heats up from the center out, right? So that cotton that's in the middle that's getting hit, blasted with heat every single time, burned. It just burned. The juice couldn't keep up. I had to drip every time I vaped. And I was trying to figure out what the advice that I was telling other people using less cotton. Using less cotton helped, still burnt through. When I pulled the cotton out, it was just frayed and singed on the edges. And I'm like, ugh. So I rebuilt it, and now it's, uh, it's much, much better. This is 0.5 at 5 volts, and it's uh, it's just fantastic, and I and I really like the airflow closed off much more. And it's still, it's still on the airy side. It's still, still on the airy side. But uh, yeah, Mutation X version two. The great thing about this about this atomizer, and I'll post a link to it in the description. This came to me. Oh, this is the Three Floyd site. I was like, what, what happened? Zombie dust. Um, this came to me. <coughs> Pardon me, Robin. Who did this come to me for? Apologize to Sheik. You're not going to do it, are you? Jerk. You're, you've are you become more of a jerk as time goes on. It's I don't even know why I keep you around, Robin. This came to me via Vapor, 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 VaporDNA.com. And the best part, it comes in black. Oh, that's so cool. Comes in black. The damn thing's only twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine ninety nine, and you get a pretty sick rebuildable atomizer. It's a little airy. If you don't like airy, maybe we can cut those off like halfway too. Oh, that's tight. It's amazing how just little adjustments. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it as it is. But the great thing about this atomizer, it comes in black. It comes in copper, which, eh, don't like the way the copper looks. The black looks sick, though. $29.99. $30 bucks will get you an uh, authentic 
stainless steel mutation x version 2 made by indulgence of course i'll post a link in the description to where you can pick that up the second uh oh the second one let me take this atomizer off real fast and show you the joy of the second uh first impressions this comes from Inokin, and I think we all know what this is. Inokin tried to make a mech mod before, and it was less than amazing. It was okay. It worked. Had a nice button, but it was kind of less than amazing. It kind of there should have been a little bit more involved. And so now they've made this. So this is called the Arachnid. Can you guess why? It's covered in uh, Spider-Man-esque web. <laughs> I love Spider-Man. Don't get me wrong. Next to Batman, Superman is my number two favorite superhero of all time. I know a lot of people are going to say Thor. Thor is number three. And if you want to know number four, obviously that's Wolverine. Okay, those are, those are kind of my top. Okay, and if we're going to round it out with number five, it's an obscure super, superhero, Sentry. Yes, I think Sentry is a badass. But regardless, this is called the Arachnid. And I've been using it with my with this little tugboat version 2. And that is a half moon District 5 drip top on top. And it's red, so it's kind of matchy-matchy. And that's really the only way that I've been able to stand using this mod. Because I don't really like the aesthetics of it. Oh, and it's a stainless steel mod. Let me drip some. Uh, let me drip some top secret juice here. It's a stainless steel mod, so it's not super conductive. It doesn't hit amazing. And I was trying to get some more information on this from anywhere, from the Inokin site, uh, anywhere. Uh, the first search result that came up was SmokeCityCA.com. They sell it for thirty nine ninety nine. I mean, you can't beat the price. It's not really a clone, although it kind of looks like the Magneto, and it has a uh, similar Marvel Comics branding to it. But I'm trying to read up more on this, and they don't say... Uh, it doesn't say what the contacts are made out of. It's a stainless steel mod, and I've noticed that it hits substantially weaker than even some other stainless steel mech mods and substantially weaker than copper mods like the Oros, which I do have a review for, and the uh, Panzer, which I have talked about in the past. It doesn't seem to hit super well. This is definitely not Godzilla masturbating. And I have a fully charged Sony VTC4 in here this is at 0 0.3 ohms, and I've put this tugboat version 2 on other mech mods, and it's hit a lot, lot harder than this one. It hits okay. It's not, I mean, I don't know. It's fine. It just doesn't feel like it's hitting very hard. It just doesn't feel like it's hitting very hard. And one of my other main super gripes about this ha no pun intended the adjustment pin to adjust this up to your atomizer is reverse threaded so if you think you're screwing it in you're really screwing it out and if you think you're screwing it out you're really screwing it in and i didn't know that and so i'm cranking it and cranking it going why won't this come out you have to do it clockwise to get it out counterclockwise to get it in um, that's what she said. It's also, when there's no battery in it, uh, it feels janky and I'm not going to take anything away from Inokin. This is without a doubt the best mech mod they have ever released. This is the best Inokin mech mod that exists and you can't beat the price. It's only 40 bucks and it's not a clone, although it kind of looks like the Magneto. I don't want to take anything away from this just because it doesn't hit as hard as an all copper mod. It still hits nice, it's easy to use, it's telescoping, and if you're a fan of Spider-Man, then you might really, really be into this. In fact, they come in blue 
which could be, I don't know, Superman or Spider-Man 2099. Wasn't he blue? Let's do some geeky research here. Spider-Man 2099. Yeah, Spider-Man 2099 was blue. See, I know my shit. I know how to read comics. He was blue. Spider-Man 2099 was blue. Spider-Man was red. Uh, symbiote Spider-Man was black. Uh, oh, there was a Spider-Man symbiote 2099. Ooh, I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. I must not have read those comics. But anyway, Spider-Man themed. It's called the Arachnid. I'll post a link in the description to the Inakin Facebook, which was the first search result, and a girl using it incorrectly. She's holding it kind of like this, going kind of like that, like this sultry. She has vapor in her mouth, though. I could be a vape model. What? I'll post a link to their Facebook as well as the uh, the first site that came up, smokecityca.com, where you can pick this up for a measly forty dollars. In fact, pair this up with the Mutation X, under a hundred bucks, you got a mech mod and a uh, and a rebuildable atomizer. So that's what I got as far as first impressions go. There was something. Ah, uh, what did I want to talk? Oh, the giant fogger thing. So here's a thing. Hang on. I didn't do any research on this, and I know who I bought this from. Who's who? Okay, I apologize. I'm gonna have to do some quick, some quick Google foo here. Uh, see, on uh, I know this was mess. I know I exchanged messages with her on Facebook. Fogger. Fogger. Ellie. Yes, Ellie. Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. What's your website? Ellie, what's your website? Ellie, what's your website? Ellie! Ellie! Her name was Ellie, and I met her at Vape Mania. Um, oh, I can't find a link to her to her website. To the website. Double D Boxes. Double D Boxes? Ooh, maybe that's the ticket. Maybe that's the ticket, Double D Boxes. Uh, looks like they have a Facebook only, but they sell a Fogger. This is the Fogger version 4. Yes, Double D Boxes. I was right. I will post a link to their Facebook in the description, and I bought this Fogger from them. And I also bought one for uh, for my friend Brittany. She managed to build it way before I did. I still have not been able to get a good build in here. And I've been reading all over the place. I've been reading on Reddit how people have been building their foggers. I've been watching YouTube videos on people how to build their foggers. This is a special drilled out fogger. If I take this off, that's what the fogger deck looks like. Can you see the fogger deck? It's a hard, uh, it's a difficult deck to build on. I was surprised because you need to put a dual coil on there. Those are the two airflow holes and they're drilled out. Do you see this big, uh, no, you're not going to be able to see that. Anyway, they're, they're, they're drilled out, these big drilled out airflow holes in the bottom. And uh, the guy from Double D Boxes at Vape Mania had one of these that was built really, really well. And he let me try it. He let me take a toot off of his and it was like amaze balls. I was like, this is so awesomely cool. It's a big, big 28 millimeter fogger and you just lung it. You just lung inhale off of this and I think it's great. I would like to get a good build on here. Um, Twisted Messes? No, I can't, uh, I can't, I can't bother him again. I, uh, I want to get a good build on here and I'm not quite 100% sure to do it. If anybody has a link to any videos or, uh, you know, step-by-step -step sort of instructions, I saw one on Reddit that I might revisit, but uh, I want to rock this so bad. I want to rock this so bad. Um, but anyway, they sell this modified Fogger V4 with these big, you can't see it on camera, but these big, big drilled out airflow holes. Oh, you can kind of see it right there. Not really. Big, big drilled out airflow holes. Anyway, I think that wraps up our 
first impressions segment. And what I want to do right now before I run out of time is talk about the uh, I want to talk about the giveaway winners. And this giveaway, this giveaway was intense. So what we did was nominate other people to win cool vape gear. And I'm still looking at all the packages and they're going to be the winners will be notified before this video goes uploaded. And probably the packages will be mailed out either two days before or the day before this video gets uploaded. Um, this was really hard for me and I didn't think that it would take that much effort to to sort of get through, um, but it did. Like I said, there were, and it's not because there were so many emails. There were a lot of emails. The hard part was reading all of these emails and there's some that were just, uh, that were just too much <laughs> for me to handle. Uh, and my, like I said, my only regret is that I can't, I can't give all 800 of you a cool package with cool mods. Um, one of the one of the gentlemen, uh, one of the winners, was a girl named Tiffany. Um, her husband wrote in. There were a lot of husbands and wives, uh, boyfriends, girlfriends, um, sometimes roommates, sometimes brothers. Um, Craig wrote in wanted to nominate his wife. His wife has lupus and it's been really hard on her. They have four little boys. Um, he's not working right now to take care of his wife and kids. She got him into vaping and he wanted to get something for her, which I think is, uh, is just fantastic. And Hopefully by the time this, this video goes up, Craig, uh, you'll have gotten an email and possibly a package already from me. Um, I'm not going to read all of them. There was another one named uh, Keith. He nominated his brother. <clears throat> his brother's a single father with two children working a minimum wage job. Um, he's a proud man. Uh, he unfortunately has to take government assistance for his kids. He introduced him into vaping a while back. Uh, he likes it and knows he needs to quit smoking. Uh, but all of his vape gear is uh, hand-me-downs that haven't been serving him well. Um, I think if he could get some decent gear, he might be able to move forward and drop the analogs all together. Uh, Keith, props to you. Props to your brother. Absolutely. Um, very selfless of you to nominate your... Uh, your brother. Uh, there was one that really, really crushed me. Uh, and I don't know if I'll be able to find it. And if I do find it, I don't know that I'll be able to read it without, uh, without getting teary eyed. Um, another fellow named Daniel wrote in and nominated his sister, Donna. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to read this whole email cause I don't want to give out too many details about their life. Um, but it's heartbreaking to say the least. Uh, they lost their parents <laughs> years ago, which I'm not laughing at that. I just, I don't know how to respond to things like that. Um, he wants her around as long as possible because he feels like he would be lost without her. Um, and that, I mean, that really gets to me. Um, family especially is super, super important. Um, and he wants to get this uh as a christmas gift which i think is just fantastic so danny yes hopefully you have heard from me and possibly already received a uh already received a package from me um i'll, I'll just cover one more um steve I thought, I thought this one was really unique um let me have some beer first before i start tearing up steve uh Steve writes to me and says, uh, my son Tyler recently turned 18 years old and I found out that he has been smoking cigarettes. Uh, evidently Tyler was a closet smoker and his dad didn't know about it. He says he fiddles, he watches me fiddle around building my tobe and loves the idea of vaping. Uh, we both really love your YouTube videos and I personally have been watching them since the beginning. Uh, I no doubt blame myself and his mother for making him take up such a bad habit. And that's, 
that's not something that you can do. My parents were both non-smokers and I was an avid smoker and I loved it. Um, so don't put that blame on yourself. Um, he got his wife vaping. I'm, I'm all sniffly now and I wonder if that's cause, just because I'm emotional. Uh, he got his wife vaping and he really wants to get he really wants to get his boy uh, vaping because he found out he was smoking. Um, he says, uh, I will personally buy all of his wires and juice for the rest of his, his life just to see him stop this habit. Um, Steve, yes, absolutely. Uh, hopefully you have heard from me. Hopefully we can get your boy Tyler something very, very cool. Like I said, there were so many entries. Um, Craig... Uh, Keith, Dave, uh, Amanda, Robert, uh, Paul, Danny, Randy, uh, Michael, William, Josh. Everybody had uh, everybody had very intense stories. Um, everybody really took this to heart and nominated someone that they cared about. I didn't get uh, I didn't get a single um, you should give it to me type of situation. Nobody entered themselves. Everybody everybody followed the rules and entered someone that they cared about. And that that alone, reading all these emails, is a, an, enough to make me sort of restore my faith in humanity that people care this much about other people. And I think it's fantastic. Um, a lot, like I said, a lot of wives, a lot of girlfriends, a lot of husbands. And the problem is, the reason I'm not reading all of them right now um, is because I've narrowed it down to 16. And I can't bring myself to narrow it down to 12. And I have to narrow it down to 12. I can't leave it at 16. But what I'm going to do for these 16 people is... Uh, I'm going to email them all back. Um, only 12 of them can win, but what we're going to do as sort of a thank you, I guess, um, is give them a unique and one-time use coupon code for namberjuice.com, uh, 20% off, redeemable anytime except for Black Friday. Um, because I feel like I need to give something to these 16 people. These 16 people have told me their stories. They've told me uh, about their families, about their wives, about their girlfriends, about how hard things have been. Uh, and it just... It just gets to me. Um, and it's very... It's very heartwarming. Um, I apologize, but it's very, very cool. So yeah, that's how things are going to go. Um, I'm going to email all of the winners directly and I'm going to get the shipping information for the winners or if they want to give it as a gift, I'll get the shipping, whatever shipping you need, uh, whatever shipping I need to get these to you as fast as possible. Um, like I said, these are going to go out at the very beginning of the week of Thanksgiving. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully by the time this video is up on YouTube, uh, all the winners will have their prizes. Um, obviously, I'd love to see pictures. Uh, if you take pictures of anybody opening their gear, vaping their gear, uh, please email them to me, nick at grimgreen.com. I would love to follow up and see how it goes, if, if it's helpful. And, you know, if you get a device that you don't want or you don't like, um, pay it forward to somebody else. I think that's one of the best things we can do as a community because there's so much gear and there's uh, so much buying and purchasing and trading of stuff going on if you have an atomizer you don't use pay it forward if you have some juice you don't use pay it forward if you have a mod that you've had forever and you don't really use it anymore please please pay it forward um i apologize for getting so emotional but like i said this contest was a little bit intense and i kind of wasn't expecting it to affect me that much but it really really did and uh i think it's uh i think it's great and i want to give a very 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 hearty thank you to everyone that sent in your stories um i hope that you have just some good karma headed your way i hope that you're able to get uh you're able to get the vape gear that you need that you want for your loved ones um <clears throat> 
with that said, um, there's always deals going on. There's always huge Black Friday deals. Now, I know for sure Amber Juice is having a big Black Friday sale. I know every vendor is either having a Black Friday or Cyber Monday. Jump on those to get stuff for uh, for people that you love because that's what we do. We take care of them. And uh, like I said, let me collect myself. Really good, really, really good giveaway. I don't know how long this video is running right now. So I'm just going to wrap it up. Should I try to fit in a viewer mail? I don't think I should try to fit in a viewer mail. Um, if I do, if I do, I'm not going to do the graphics. No, maybe I should do. No, no. You know what? I'm not going to do the graphics. Um, oh, I do want to give a shout out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Ivan. Let me try to find him. His name is Ivan, and uh, he runs a vaping radio show in uh, in uh, in Denmark, which is crazy. And he invited me to come on to his show, and I was like, "Yeah, of course." I mean, why would I? Why am I going to pass up a chance to be on a vaping radio show in Denmark? How often do I get to Skype with Denmark? Um, I'll get a link to his radio show and I'll put it in the description. You can listen to the episode that I was on because it is in English. The other ones are in Denmark. So if you're in Denmark, you should be listening to this guy Ivan's show. I can't remember the name of it and he actually gave me a like a statement to say in 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 the language and I can't uh I can't remember it. I'm so sorry. I'm so so sorry, but yeah, that's the last thing I wanted to say. Shout out to Ivan and his radio show. I'll get a link for the description. We've covered beer. We've covered shout-outs. Vapecation.org, at Cheeksy Vapes, IPV, Safety Issue, the Arachnid, the Mutation X version 2, the Giant Fogger thing, and uh, the incredibly heartwarming, tugging at my heartstrings giveaway winners. We do have a lot of stuff uh, still coming up into the future. Uh, honestly, a lot of mech mods and a lot of rebuildables, just because that's kind of what's going on right now. Um yeah. Uh, oh, including the beast, the beast, the uh, the DBM mod, some other mech mods. Um, still really hoping that I'll be able to pick up a tugboat mod because oh, those look so cool. Um, there's another mech mod called the Balithum. Balithum. I can't even pronounce it. It's got a really interesting, really interesting, unique switch on there. But yeah, needless to say, there's a lot of a lot of very cool stuff coming up. The rig mod. Oh, the smoke tech BCC, maybe that. Oh, the Hyperion mod, the hex mech mod. A lot of mech mods, a lot of rebuildable atomizers, just because that's the where the industry is right now, is mech mods and rebuildable atomizers. So, so yeah, I'm going to wrap this up. That's what I got. Thank you guys uh, so much for watching. What am I going to grab? What am I going to grab? Who's putting money on the arachnid because you just won some money? Um, I'm going to use this for now, but that's what I got. Thank you so, so much, everybody, for watching. And as always, please, let's keep on vaping. my song I wrote it it's called clouds bro <laughs>